What's up guys, TC here and welcome to our very first episode of our video game spotlight series and today we're going to be taking a look at a game called Avorion. So this is a, a pretty new game and this is definitely a, a, you know, a huge departure from the type of video games that I've been playing on my channel as a lot of you know. Um, this is not going to be a uh, probably a permanent addition to our channel, we're just taking a look at it. Um, the idea is that each week I'm going to try to get a new game and show it off for you guys. I'm going to try to stay in the kind of um, exploration, building, anything where you can kind of construct and stuff like that. And that's kind of what this game focuses a lot around. It is kind of like a, a space version of, um, not Minecraft, I don't know, but you, you can, there's a whole lot of in-depth building. It has a really, really cool uh, spaceship and uh, space station ship building going on here. You can make, uh, I'm actually really impressed by how well the ship building is in this game. Uh, you can make a ship that looks pretty much like anything once you get good enough at it, and once you kind of figure out the controls. It's, um, the controls for everything are a little bit tricky, so we're going to hop on in here. I'm going to load up one. I went through, I, st I still haven't quite, um, I haven't beaten the game per se. I don't think you actually can beat this game. But uh, the idea is that you're out in space and you can kind of play it however you want to. You can be like a pirate or a trader or you can be a, a miner or you can go and pillage ships and pick up the wreckage. And you can make all kinds of different ships and different kinds of shapes and these crazy uh, you know, orientations of your ship, so real quick here, we're going to back out. The controls are a little bit wonky, I haven't quite figured them all out yet. Where's my ship? There it is. So this is the current ship I'm using now. Um, you can kind of, uh, let's see if I can figure out these controls. How does it go again? What do I do? Control? I think it's control. Yeah, there it is. So uh, there, the controls are a little bit tricky, but this is the ship I've come up with for now. Uh, it's got, uh, you can basically like, like I said, it's, it's, it's very similar to a lot of games where you like you go on your mine, you progress, and you you get better and better materials. And that's what this one is. Uh, one thing I can say though about this game is it's a lot different. Like it's a 3D game, but it's a lot more difficult to control it because there this thing is extremely intricate. Like you have to, uh, you know, this when you build a ship, there's all kinds of different uh, stats about it, like your acceleration speed, your deceleration speed, your ability to turn, uh, to stop. Because one thing that's important is that in space, like here. When you get traveling forwards, like if you let off your 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 thrusters, you will just keep going and you'll fly right into uh, structures and stuff like that. So real quick, we are gonna travel to a uh, let's travel to one that I know I won't get killed in. Um, I don't want to fly to one of the ones with these red ones. I'm not very I don't have very good guns uh, at the moment, so uh, I don't do really well in combat. So we're gonna back out there. So basically, it's kind of cool. You can uh, you can orient your ship to go to uh, pretty much like you have like a certain distance that you can always jump within your uh, within your cer certain sector so your ship can always uh, make jumps so there you go but you can only jump so far at a time which is you know kinda realistic I, I prefer that so now we're in another part of the section as you can see they, they vary in their color there doesn't seem to be any kinda like hard limitation like you can just kinda keep flying in any direction um, if you were to fly long enough you will not like you know fly from one sector to another now these two I've been into now are very empty but I'm going to try to keep flying uh, into, uh, I need to get one with, that has like uh, some of these dots or something in it. There you go. So I bet this one probably has something in it. So uh, usually the, and this is like your star map and these little dots kind of signify there's there's good things or something worth in there. So uh, this here kind of tells you what the direction is. You have to kind of aim and face towards where you're going to jump to and you have to give your, your jump drive a second to kind of like, there you go. You have to give it a second to charge up, but it'll boost you the, um, through different parts of space. Uh, it's an extremely intricate game. Like, not only do you have to build your ship correctly, uh, like, you know, so that it functions all right and has all the different stuff, but you have to assign the uh, the different controls to do different things. You have to hire crew so your ship can function. Like, if you don't hire miners, you can't use your mining devices. If you don't mire, fire, uh, if you don't hire enough gunners, uh, you can't. Uh, use your guns any so uh, it's pretty interesting you have to get pretty close to these uh, asteroids but you'll see that there's um, basically I think there's what six different seven maybe different uh, categories of, of like ore in the game so you'll see up here in my top left corner we have iron titanium nanite trinium uh, xanion or oganite and avorion which is where the game gets its name Okay, so we are very quickly going to dive into the shipbuilding portion of this. So we're going to hop up here to build our ship. Oops, so let's kind of orient correctly. There we go. Hmm, I see we have some audio problems. One second. 
Okay, I don't know what happened there. I lost my, uh, lost my uh, mic audio. But anyways, we're back. And so, anyways, if you toggle in and out of this, it allows you to uh, build with different materials. And you'll see up here you have all kinds of things. You have iron hull, iron blank hull. You've got engines, uh, iron stone. So they, they, have, they have all kinds of things. Like, look, this one's immune to electricity weapons, higher durability, but very high mass. So you have to, you know, use more energy to control it. You got things like uh, crew quarters, which if you want more crew, you have to have more crew quarters. Um, you've got ion, iron thrusters, which these are again what helps you stop, start, and control like your navig, uh, like your ability to be like agile in space. So these are really important, like if you don't want to crash into stuff. Um, you've got iron armor, uh, frameworks. This is like that kind of like uh, lattice type stuff you can frame between stuff. Uh, you've got docks. Uh, apparently, you can have drones and stuff in this game. I haven't quite gotten to that part yet. Uh, you've got iron turret rotation things. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the point of this is just yet. Um, you've got solar panels, so again you have energy inputs and outputs, so like if your ship is using too much energy you need to have different kinds of things that can generate more energy. And so again, each one of the, uh, there's like all these different tiers, so you've got titanium, all the neonite and all that stuff. It goes all the way down to the avorion, which is the red stuff down here, and these are kind of like the highest tier. And so down here you have things like energy containers to increase your tank size, and uh, generators which help you generate energy. Um, so yeah, it's really cool. And so if you want, we'll uh, we'll build a ship really quickly. Let's see. Um, let's just delete everything on this one. I wish it was a little bit brighter. Um, hmm. Let's see. Give me one second. I'm gonna get to a bit of a brighter area so you guys can see this. Okay, and we are back. So I'm in a little bit of a, a brighter galaxy now. I'm gonna show you guys um, all the different crazy amount of stuff you can do here. So we're gonna kind of get rid of this current ship we have off oh, turn safe mode off yeah it's got some really cool like safety uh, features built in that so you don't like end up deleting your your cool ships um, and so see all this stuff like you initially start off with one uh, initial hull which is this little box here so real quick and see it won't even let you uh like it's got lots of safety protocols in it like it won't let you um, basically fly a ship that can't function so real quick this is pretty much um, this little square here is what you would start off with. So real quick, I'm going to try to expand on this thing. This is kind of your initial hull you'd start with, and you can kind of expand on this thing. Um, so we're going to build with the... Uh... There we go. So we are going to build with the Avorion stuff, because... Get off my screen. There we go. So let's see. Can I move this? Oh, I can. Okay, so we're going to do... Um... Let's do crew quarters as our first bit. And so it's going to allow you to place stuff like this and you can expand on this stuff in any direction you're gonna see the uh, this has different colors on the sides of it so you'll see that whenever I select the uh, A key it's the, it's expanding in this direction whenever I press the uh, S key it's expanding upwards and the D key is the forward one so it kinda tells you what orientation so we can put it on here we're gonna expand it up just a little bit and now we're gonna expand it outwards so we want to make like a longer ship you can place that there and so this is gonna give us a decent crew uh, quarter size that there allow us to have more crew. Um, so from there we're gonna go. Damn it! I keep popping in and out of full screen, so I'm not. I, I can't seem to select this without doing that for some reason. So we're gonna add some uh, thrusters here. Let's. Um, hmm. Maybe let's do. Oh, I know. Here we got some framework. This is kind of some cool stuff. Uh, so the framework is the stuff that is. I don't know how to describe it. So let's make it a little bit smaller. Here we go. And now you can kind of rotate it around. And the controls are a little bit... Um, I don't know. I'm not going to say they're not intuitive, but it just takes a little bit of learning. And you can pretty much make a ship of any shape you want. I'm sure some really insane builders out there um, are probably laughing at my really shitty building skills. But um, you can definitely do some insane stuff with this. So let's see. I want to put some like flat panels, kind of like a. Uh, um, think of like the. Oh shit! What are they called? And also, oh, so here we go. Um, there's also a rotate button, so you can kind of rotate these things in different orientations. So if you don't want to like go about it the hard way, you can always do it like this. So real quick, we're gonna put this right. Um, mm -hmm. There we go. Put that on that side. So this is gonna give us a shitload of good thrust. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna be able to be. Uh, Zoom out just a little bit. Make sure it's even. I get ticked if it's not, um, if it's not like even on both sides, symmetrical or whatever. And it's kind of cool. There's a lot of like 
I don't know, details that you can go in. Like, building these things can take a really long time. Uh, there's, like, glowing parts you can put in. So, for instance, like, these bits here are, like, really, really bright. Uh, so, like, this is an edge. So, like, if I were to... Hold on, i got to reshape this. Uh, let's see, not that big. That. Shrink that down. And now it's rotated um, a little bit. There we go. So, like, if you were to put this on the front, you'll see it glows really, really brightly. Um, I'm not quite sure what it is. Like, you can actually see through it. Um, and it's incredibly bright. I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, but, anyways, I'm going to remove that. And uh, I'm going to work on this just for a few minutes. And I'm going to bring you guys back when I get um, a ship that's not embarrassing. So, just one second. Okay, and we are back. So, I have uh, spent about 15 minutes here uh, working on a new ship. And so, this is, like, obviously, this, this could be much more in-depth. In and, uh... I'm now noticing this is kind of vaguely dick-shaped, but anyways, uh, you'll see it has like little shield generators on it. Um, there's different like lights and stuff like that you can put on. Um, it's all kinds of cool stuff. I've got these new little laser uh, thrusters. These little things right here are thrusters. You'll see them kind of move. It's kind of cool. Whenever your ship orients itself in space, uh, the corresponding thrusters will go off. So it's kind of cool. It's very realistic. So we're going to travel to one of these. Um, let's travel to one of the space stations. I know there's one here. I think it's right over there, maybe. Is that it? Yeah, so you can like... Oh no, that's a cargo transport. Where's uh... Where's one of the... Oh, there it is. So yeah, there's lots of really cool uh, stuff you'll encounter here. So we're gonna try to boost over this thing here. Um, by hitting W, you'll go forward, and if you hit the uh, space key, you'll boost. Now this ship I've made here is really fast. Um, or at least I think it is. Um, it's faster than all my other ships. Um, but you can kind of dock with these things here. I just gotta find the dock. I don't want to run into it. I've, I've made the mistake of running into these damn things, and it'll blow you up if you... Uh, if you go in too quick. So you definitely got to be careful. So I'm going to try to taxi in real slow here, see if I can dock. you got to get within docking range before you can actually do stuff. Once you get close, you'll see it'll say, uh, like, press F to dock or something like that. I think you got to be a little closer. There you go. So now I can uh, I can dock. And here's, you are speaking with the automatic interaction response system of the resource depot, Onyx. What can we do for you? So from here you can do the uh, electronic bulletin board, which is kind of like doing little quests. It gives you, like, all kinds of things like... Um, it can ask you to take care of like a bandit horde or something that's like a bunch of pirate band or something. Uh, it can ask you, to ask you to collect resources or travel to a certain area. You can hire crew. Now crew are in essential for your ship. I'm sort of going to back out of this. I'm going to show you up here uh, in your ship menu. So there's all kinds of crew members. There's general crewmen. There's engineers. Um, and so like right here, the crewmen, these default crewmen can be assigned to nearly any position. Then there are engineers. They maintain and run all technical blocks on your ship. You have gunners, which operate your turrets and stuff like that. So if you don't, if you have two turrets on your ship, uh, and you don't have the appropriate amount of gunners, you won't be able to use those turrets. So it's an extremely intricate system. You have to like, you know, balance things out. I could see some people making some really, really, uh, like complex, like crazy intricate uh, ships with this stuff. Uh, I haven't really dove into it yet, but I would like to. I'm going to spend a little bit more time. But I just wanted to give you guys an intric like, intricate. I wanted to give his to give you guys a uh, just a brief inter introduction to what kind of stuff you can do on here. Um, there's miners, which is the same thing for drills. Uh, mechanics repair your ship. Now, if you blow a piece of your ship off, like if you run into something, it can blow off like a section of it. Um, and if that blows off, like they won't repair that bit. You have to go into your ship construction bit and repair it manually. Um, but if you do like a little bit of damage to something, they can repair it in the meantime. Uh, pilots will fly fighters. So if you have like drones on your ship, uh, pilots will do that. I haven't quite gotten to that far yet. Um, you have security, which defends your ship's from enemy borders. This isn't implemented yet. I think this will be really cool that apparently in the future, like, enemy ships will be able to dock and board with your ship and try to take over it. So security will help you defend against that. And again, so this is beta, so there's lots of features that aren't quite implemented. There's a few odd and end bugs here when, like, repairing and building your ship, but uh, it's a pretty fluid experience, and it's definitely really cool what you can make. Um, let's see. Borders. Borders can be flown to others. So, okay, so the borders are what you use to, uh, to invade other people's ships. Um, you have sergeants, and so for every... What is it? You need one sergeant for every two, for every ten employed crewmen. You need one lieutenant for every four sergeants. So you have like these different rank system. Commanders, overseas lieutenants. You need one commander for every three lieutenants. So this is insane. This like hierarchy here. Uh, generals, one general for every three commanders. And captains, not mandatory, but allow ship to be commanded when you're not flying them. Now that's cool. I don't know how that works exactly, but um, it's really cool that you can have this extremely intricate setup with all these different crewmen. Um, over here is where you kind of set up your system. So, like, I have both of my guns toggled to one, so I can turn. If I hit one, I'll turn them off. And my mining thing, or my mining drill, is hooked to two, so I can turn these on and off. Um, these are my systems here. This doesn't seem to be 
uh, quite, I don't know, maybe, I'm, maybe this isn't quite working, I don't know. Uh, I'm not quite sure what that is, but I know cargo is something when you, you can, like, transport stuff. Your energy systems here, it kind of shows, like, what your ship, like, how much you produce versus how much you use. And so if you make a ship that uses more energy than it produces, you'll often find yourself kind of stagnated in space. So you want to make sure you generate lots of energy versus how much you're spending. Um, it shows, like, your shielding, how much health you have, your thrust, all that stuff is in here. Uh, it's really cool. Hangar, this is for when you have cargo and stuff in there. So we're going to back out. I'm going to try to get away from this thing here. But yeah, it's a really cool little system, and there's, there's all kinds of stuff. I've noticed that, it's like over here in the corner, uh, there's apparently a ship being attacked over here. We're going to see if we can go help out on this thing. Uh, we have the wrong thing equipped, though. There we go. So I don't have a very good gun, I don't think, but I want to see if we can blow this ship up. I'm not sure what it is. Let's see. But we do have somebody. Oh, goodness, I'm passing it up a little bit. Oh, almost hit it. Yeah, it's a little bit harder than you would think navigating in 3D space here. But this is, um... This is kind of how the combat works now. This isn't really fair because this ship isn't really attacking me back. It should be going down. Should be going down any second here. There we go. So she's all done. Um, let's see. Relations with Zhuanzhu Guild improved by 1,553. And that's something else that's, um, that's cool about this game is that there are uh, different relationships in the game with different factions. And if you, uh, you can improve or, uh, I guess, destroy those relationships. And they kind of um, help you in different areas of the game. The sound effects are really loud right now, so I'm not going to engage this guy. But you can pretty much improve or uh, degrade relationships with different factions. And there's different areas of space that are controlled by different factions. So you can uh, kind of, if you make friends with areas of space that uh, you don't normally have friends with, that kind of allows you to go in there without being attacked. And if you go into an area that you're not friends with, they'll pretty quickly swarm you. Um, I've been destroyed a couple times and actually lost my uh, my damn ship doing that. But uh, anyways, it's a very cool game. There doesn't seem to be like a general story to it. I'm not sure if they're going to implement that or not. Um, it seems very open-ended. You can kind of, like if you, you pretty much just progress through the ranks or whatever, or, you know, expand upon your ship. I'm not sure exactly how far they're going to go, but they're obviously still expanding it if they still have stuff like uh, boarding parties to come. I think that'll be kind of cool. I know a lot of people love, like, um, space combat with, like, ships. I'm not very good with, like, full 3D movement, because there's all kinds of stuff you can do. Like, look at this, like, crazy rotation you can do using the X and Z keys, stuff like that. You can, like, navigate in 3D space. It's a little bit harder. Um, I'm not quite adjusted. I can handle, like, you know, 3D games like TF2, where you're running around like that, but um, this adds, like, a whole new axis, and I'm just not quite... Um, skilled enough at that yet to really be good at it. So you notice I almost crashed uh, head on into that ship when I was attacking it. Um, but yeah, it's it's definitely a fun game. I'm gonna keep playing it. If I if I figure out anything new, I'm gonna obviously bring in some more uh, some more videos about it. If there are any updates, I'll probably do a short update video. I know it's in beta, so they're probably adding in uh, updates every week or two, depending on how um, active they are with that. But anyways, it's definitely a fun game, and I hope you guys enjoyed this little spotlight review. It's um, it's not going to be something you're going to see like this. You know, we're not going to be seeing a bunch of Avori on on our channel now. But it's definitely a fun game, and if you get the chance to try it out, I definitely recommend it. It's really fun. So, anyways, that's going to wrap up today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please rate, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to y'all later.